Modern YouTube, we're going to talk about skinning a beaver today. How do you do? How do you skin a beaver? Pretty simple. We're going to take his back feet off. We're going to take his front feet off. It's all coming. All four feet come off first. Now you notice I got him in this little basin. We call that the beaver trough. It's awful nice because we're going to use this a lot when we got to roll them and stuff to get uh, into the final cuts and things as we go along. So. If you don't have one, it's easy enough to make a couple one by sixes and a little bit of screws or nails and you're all in business, let me tell you. So first things first, feet come off, tail come off, we'll go from there. Okay, we got all four feet off and the tail. And now it's just a matter of making a cut from here to the chin. And then we're gonna roll them around and take the skin off all together. So I like to start from the chin. Because as you come down toward the anus and everything, you've got to make sure you're staying away from those casters as you come through. So, sharp knife always helps. Down we go. Nice straight line if you can. Down the middle. Don't run her too deep because you don't want to get into the guts and all that. You know, just try to stay high and make your cut. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on a little bit, but you got the idea. I mean, I don't need to get into the exact cut and that sort of thing, but there we go. Knife underneath there, work her down. The 34 pounder here, nice beaver. Nuisance beaver, damming up the river, flooding the cropland down the way here and we've taught him a permanent lesson I guess to leave us alone we deal with them every year over and over and over with these guys I tell you so I go to each side of the old Amos here Ooh, easy easy there we go leave that out of play here we come down the other side here and out oh, at the center of the tail. He's belly up right now, if you haven't noticed. That's the way you do it. Chin to tail via the belly. So got her like that now. It's just a matter of parting the hide and starting to work them around the edges here. Get a good handhold going somewhere if you can. Now they're greasy, they're oily. It takes a little more to hang on sometimes. Kind of remind me of a raccoon in that way, respect. But not that hard. Just stay high so you don't hit the guts and open them up. That's the idea. You're just trying to find the line between the skin and the rest of the body here. So we'll work this all the way down. Get a good flap going on one side and the other and we'll make our way into the legs and the legs are not difficult either you just got to kind of pop them through you know where you're coming push that back we'll show you when we get there so you see i'm just kind of working an edge up here and i'm i will turn him like this as i go that's why the trough is so handy so like I said, we're just rolling him in the trough, skinning as we go, just coming down the line here. Watch this area here, this is where your casters are at, right there, that's where the money's at. And don't worry about leaving a little meat down here, you got to flesh this thing no matter what, so it's not a huge issue if you leave a little fat, a little meat, but you get down into the leg like this, we're going to start to see it popping through here, make a couple more strokes and we'll be able to 
push it right through from the outside. You just read your line where your you can see where your meat where your hide meat and make your strokes just like you would skinning a deer or anything or any other animal for that matter. But uh, got strong thumbs sometimes you can work them through here. It's uh, not always that easy. <clears throat> old guys it takes a little more but you can see where it's going there's that old you could call it like a drumstick huh hind leg here bring it through there give it a little more now, this is good eating back here these hind quarters I like to save the meat on these beavers good stuff some people don't, but I'm telling you, all they are is a vegetarian. It's just like grass-fed beef, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing more to it, really. Let's right, see if we can get my thumb through there. Yep, there goes one. Here we go. Other side. And then you just work your hand in and pull. Like this. Try to get them right out the other side like that. Here. And a quick push-pull method and the leg is out now we just keep the rolling process going repeat for all legs like that uh, so you just get it down to a point where you can get one thumb work through and be in good shape and you just take them along like I say this is nice because the trough keeps them right where I need them and I want to make a move I just kind of flip them like this and I've got a nice working edge right here in front of me so again, oh, old McDonald gave me this uh, beaver trough. He's an old trapper down the way. He and I talk quite a bit, hang out, and uh, he gave it to me as a gift a couple years ago. I was very kind to him. Thank you, Al. And um, I put it to good use ever since he did, I'll tell you. It's a handy device. If you don't have one and you got a skin beaver, okay, I like it. I'd recommend it. Maybe the uh, beaver trough manufacturer, of course that'd be me, wanna give me a, what do they call it, a sponsorship. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll sponsor myself for the beaver trough, huh? <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. We're coming down the line here. Won't be long now. I'm making a couple more flips on them. And I'll show you some more as we go. The other nice thing about the trough is as you progress, the hide will hang and naturally provide a little bit of a nice gravitational assistance here. So you can make your strokes fairly quickly and efficiently without always having to pull on the hide. And again, you don't need to worry about leaving a little bit of something on there. You're just trying to get the darn hide off. And provide the nick-free guarantee. Try to never nick the hides with it. Not always possible, but hey, it, um, that's what we strive for, right? Make sure we get a good job and do it in such a way that it can be a quality hide when we're done. Now, as you probably recall, you know, there's really no market for much of anything except for the glands, but uh, uh, I will prepare this hide, salt it, ship it, etc., have it tanned. And then, like I say, I just try to sell them to friends and stuff, word of mouth. My cousin was making hats a couple years ago. I, he made all my coyotes in a hat. I sold every coyote hide I had to him. But um, got to get him going on beaver hides now. So that would be good. All right, front leg. Looks like we're just about ready here. Same kind of procedure, work your thumb through, get her to the other side, and then a little push-pull action here, trim her down a little further, makes them want to come along a little easier when you got them down a little further, but anyway, let's see.
it through. Come on. There we go. A little push pull. And as you can see, I'm working my way toward the head. That's the final move. Is up here at the head. And that's where <clears throat> you know if there's really some finesse involved, that's where it'll come. And you gotta do the eyes and ears and the mouth. But generally isn't all that difficult. Let's get her going coming along like this. We'll uh, get the head coming the right way for you. And I'll show you the eyes, ears, and the mouth process. So again, another benefit of the trough, I can now lay the beaver like this. Got the face toward me. You can see my line. The pelt is hanging here to create that nice gravitational pull for me. And I can work her down nice and easy right into the crux of the matter here. We'll be watching for the ears first. Not too far off on that. Here we come. time in here a little bit don't don't rush this just want to keep watching for the telltale signs of ear cartilage which is right scrape that back a little bit you can see it better I can see it better it's gonna be hard for you to see I can't really get the camera up in that tight but you'll see momentarily here as you're coming into this back with you buddy rolling it over the top of his head Right here's the ear. Boom. Catch that little piece of cartilage. Keep it small. Don't, don't make a great big cut. Right there. Bingo. Got him. Comes through on the ear. And if there's ever a place you're going to nick, it's up in here probably, but take your time. There's the second ear just came through. You can see there's little tiny holes right there. Now I'll watch for the eyeballs coming here. Jaw coming nice. Keep the whole thing moving this way. Bottom jaw. Actually, this way is just the top jaw. We already did the bottom. Remember, you started with the belly up, so the bottom's done. This is the top jaw we're coming into here. But, uh, and then you'll see the eyelid pretty quick. Here, the eye socket, and you can feel it. Jaw down. That'll make it hang easier into the final cuts around the eye. There it is. Come on, baby. There it is. You'll start to see them. Just right there it is. Boom. There's one. Release a little more tension. Here's the other. There, perfect. We got him, and here he comes. Got a few more strokes left, and we're done. That bad boy is going to go in the freezer till we can get him over to the salt table after he's been fleshed, of course. But here he comes. It's always the funnest part is when you get right down to the bottom because um, you know it's the moment you've been waiting for. You got your hide in your hand. Uh, come on, baby. Come on. Right there. Big old buck teeth. Side yet a little bit more in that jaw. Come on. Come on, 
back a little more. Oh, the mighty trough. There we go. I don't want them to fall into the dirt. Of course, Bailey's like that, but I don't want that to happen. There it is. Bingo. Beautiful hide. All set and done. There he is. Not a bad beaver hide. We ought to dry him out and get this dirt out of it. Um, but we'll take care of all that. That's essentially how you skin a beaver. I highly recommend the trough methodology. I like it. The gloves, just keep your hands cleaner. It's a little easier to clean up afterwards. They are greasy and the gloves don't make it any easier to grab, but um, it doesn't make much difference between that and your bare hands. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Learned something in the process. Uh, 34 pounder, beautiful beaver. We don't let them go to waste. Even in a nuisance situation like this, we're going to take care of that hide and try to make some use out of it. Ranger Reno, over and out.